Hello everyone. So in today's video we will be talking about anti-muscarinic agent which is called as scopolamine. So scopolamine is actually anti-muscarinic agent which have similar effects that of atropine. So scopolamine is actually a tertiary amine. The nitrogen present in its structure is actually further attached with three other atoms and it is obtained from a plant so it is actually a plant alkaloid. It produces similar effects on peripheral nervous system while it has greater action on CNS as compared to atropine. So, it has similar effects on peripheral nervous system as compared to that of atropine, but it has more or greater effects on CNS as compared to atropine. It has longer duration of action as compared to atropine. Its duration of action is almost 9.5 hours. So if we talk about its actions on the body, scopolamine actually produce anti-motion sickness effects. On body, it is one of the most effective anti-motion sickness drugs available today not only this it also block short-term memory as we have talked about atropine in atropine video that atropine is one of the most potent kind of antispasmodic agent similarly Scopolamine is also one of the most potent kind of antispasmodic agent. But in contrast to atropine, scopolamine actually produces sedation when it is given in lower doses. But when it is given in higher doses, it can produce excitement. It can also produce euphoria which is actually a feeling of happiness so this is why scopolamine is susceptible to abuse people can misuse it for euphoria because it makes them feel happy so they can use it for such negative purposes as I have told you that it is an anti-muscarinic agent. So how it acts is that when there is a presence of a muscarinic receptor and over it there is a binding site for acetylcholine. But what happens when this scopolamine comes, it compete with this acetylcholine and the resultant one binds to this active site of the muscarinic receptor but scopolamine has opposite effect of that of acetylcholine that's why it is actually antagonizing the effect of acetylcholine so that's why scopolamine is anti-muscarinic agent if we talk about the uses or therapeutic uses of scopolamine they are actually limited because of greater action on CNS they are actually used for motion sickness and post-operative nausea and vomiting so for these cases it can be used so if we talk about the pharmacokinetics of this agent this agent is poorly absorbed or has a very low bioavailability orally therefore we give it through 
TDDS which is transdermal drug delivery system in this drug delivery system there is topical application of patches of drug which slowly release drug into the body and this can be effective for three days and such patches are more effective prophylactically than that of treating motion sickness when it has occurred so it is more effective prophylactic it is metabolized through liver and excreted through urine in the parent as well as metabolite form and half-life of uh, this agent is about 9.5 hours adverse effects of scopolamine are much similar to that of atropine which are dry mouth because it also cause decrease in the body secretions it also cause blurred vision it can cause urinary retention constipation metriasis but serious effects of this agent is much greater than that of atropine so it can also cause restlessness drowsiness and confusion delirium hallucination and many other effects. These all adverse effects are because of antagonizing the muscarinic activity which is being going on inside the body. And in this way, all of these effects will be shown to the patient because of the anti-muscarinic activity of this agent, scopolamine. If you have any questions related to the topic, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching my videos.